Okay, we're now with the Municipal Auditorium, um, and Bob, if uh, you could introduce yourself and your colleagues and then um, make your budget presentation, and then we can go back to discussing our favorite concerts. Yes, that you've seen at the auditorium. Well, thank you, Mayor, Rich, Greg, Bob Sconey with the Municipal Auditorium, the manager. Also with me is the chairman of the Municipal Auditorium Commission, Randy Rayburn. Also, I have with me from the commission, Charlene Bethart, John Landers, and Adrian Newman. Also, I have uh, one staff member, our ticket manager, uh, Tanisha Alexander, and also from the convention center, who does our finances still, from uh, Heidi Runyon, so from Nashville Convention Center, also going to be Music City Center. Uh, anyway, thank you for letting me come before you today. Uh, the Nashville Municipal Auditorium continues to perform well with a uh, core of events that continually return on an annual basis to the auditorium, thanks to the dedication of our eight full-time staff employees that take good, very good care of our clients and makes them return, as we'd like to think. Uh, some of those core events are the Ohio Valley Basketball Conference, the uh, Shrine Circus, uh, three business meetings that we have annually that come, and one of them is Sherwin-Williams, uh, seven cheerleading competitions we host each year, nine concerts this past year, uh, three religious uh, conventions, one was the Baptist Youth Conference this year, and they bring a lot of visitors to our city, mostly overnight visitors. So, and speaking of visitors, the Nashville Convention Visitors Bureau has been a big help to us recently. Uh, they've helped us acquire the um, concert that's gonna be after the Music City Marathon. Uh, we're gonna have Craig Morgan here uh, that night. Uh, as you know, maybe Jimmy Buffett is gonna be in town that night, so they couldn't, they usually host the concert at the uh, Bridgestone but they're moving it to the auditorium, so we're delighted to have that. Also, the Convention Visitors Bureau is starting to bring us a lot of different types of um, site visits for overflow events from the Music City Convention Center. Uh, uh, so we're starting to get some, some visits from them for that, and so we're excited that um, that will have some, a bright future for us for extra added events to start um, uh, appealing, you know, booking our venue. Also, um, Switching to finance, we project that we'll operate within our budget this year. And uh, a 2% cut that we presented to you of $31,600, we would have to take that from our security and from our part-time staffing, which we would um, negatively affect our revenue because we get reimbursed for those, those uh, costs. Um, also, capital improvement-wise, uh, we presented that to you. Um, we finished up all of the um, uh, improvements that we had through our 4% funding the last couple of years for uh, the build out of the Musicians Hall of Fame and improvements, not for the build out of the Musicians Hall of Fame, but for the improvements to the Musicians Hall of Fame to ready ourselves for that. And those are about completed. And um, so, but we're still needing some extra monies that we put in there for our, uh, to finish some detailed things to our HVAC. Um, equipment that needs a little bit of work and also um, we need some renovation to our mezzanine seating. I think we would like to refurbish that and just and keep the look of the building. We think we could just do the lower level in, in two different steps and uh, it would be a green way for us to go and, and, and some of our, our patrons are just really, our, some of our customers are starting to really demand some type of better seating that it is original seating and we have replaced some cushions and that over the years, but nothing that, it's, it's getting a little bit in a state of disrepair. So in closing, I just thank you for your continued support and um, I'll entertain any questions that you may have today. Thank you. Okay. Rich, can I just um, you know, we're gonna we're gonna take some money out of your out of your reserves um, to finish out this year. You know where that leaves you sort of on your fund balance. You have any sense of that? Just curious. If we're looking at, I think we last looked at it, we probably were at two forty three, two seventy. Okay. So we're at one eighty eight. We're looking okay. at having brought out of there. Is that after the one eighty eight or before the one eighty eight? You know. Before. Uh, that's current. Current. Right okay. Yeah, so you have about hundred left after. Yeah. Okay. Do you, have, do you have it on the seats? You know what what the cost on that is? That would be around four hundred thousand, and the HVAC. Is that to do all the seats? Four hundred thousand? No, we're just going to do the mezzanine. Just the mezzanine. Mezzanine. We wouldn't. Would you, which 
the old wooden stuff. The wooden. The wooden we we want to keep the wooden backs. We like that. We yeah, think that like it, that just is the so auditorium. New cushions, essentially. Is that new, yeah, just refurbish the, the the whole. Uh, well, what do you call it? The mechanicals of them are, are starting to wear out. A lot of seats won't go back up. Great. No question. Well, um, you had a significant anniversary this year. Yes, 50th. Is, I mean, I love going over there because it's uh, such a place of so much history and a lot of great memories for uh, most all Nashvilleians. Um, and we appreciate your, your hard work and um, wish you continued success. And, and uh, thanks for coming in this afternoon. Well, thank you, Mayor. Thank you. Appreciate thank you. that. Yeah. More. Yeah, the whole board, uh, great work. We got a great board. You do. They're very, very, very committed. And very, very, very committed. They show up for all meetings and there any time I need. Well, them. they love the auditorium too. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. Thank, thank you. you.